Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Gadget Nation. My name is Adam Carruthers and for all you soundophiles out there who love listening to your music, watching your movies, etc. We have Jess the Tonic for you today. Plus, of course, all the latest news, all the game reviews that you would want and everything all packaged into one show. So, enough of me talking, let's start. Disney Interactive and Marvel has launched Disney Infinity, Marvel's Superheroes 2.0 edition. The new game introduces interactive superhero figures from across the Marvel Universe with original playset storylines. Each new character brings a variety of super-powered and unique gameplay mechanics such as flying, wall smashing, web slinging and more. The game is available at 259 ringgit for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, Xbox 360 and the Wii U. Nothing in this life is for free. MSI has announced the latest GT72 Dominator gaming laptops featuring NVIDIA's powerful GeForce GTX 880M graphic for Dominator Pro and GTX 870M for Dominator. It was designed to be the overwhelming Dominator of the cyber world. Spotify has launched its latest artist in Malaysia from the explosive new local indie band called Payslip. Spotify also reveals its position as the fastest growing and only truly free music streaming service in Malaysia with unique insights on its music fans. The response has been amazing. I think, you know, we, we hear about the whole world moving on to, to mobile and with the whole invent of technology, everybody looks for their, um, for their mobile phone to do everything. So why not use it to listen to over 20 million songs for free, anytime, anywhere. So it's been an amazing journey for us. You know, I'm not really the biggest fan of speakers on my phone. It just doesn't do a job properly. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, yeah, some of them are quite good, but if you can get something to connect your phone to, to listen to your music, etc. Now that makes a difference. So we've got a couple of devices to show you, all within different budgets and all perhaps enough to tantalize you to expand your repertoire of how to listen to tunes. Oh, hello there. Sorry, just listening to a bit of music. Let me just pause that so I can actually hear myself talk. And as you can probably tell, there's a heavy focus on enjoying your music right here. In fact, we not have one, two, but three devices to show you to them. Rather similar, however, they are at very different price points. One is almost half the price of the other. And of course, we have something a little bit more personal, of which nobody else can hear but you exactly what's going into your ears. So we'll save this one for last. Let's start off with this one right here, which obviously is a little mobile boombox. This is from Logitech, it's the UE Mobile Boombox. We're gonna be comparing it a little bit with this from Samsung, which is also similar, but they do obviously have uh, very different shapes and they are very different in price. Just first up, the Logitech is worth about 379 ringgit. This one is worth about 659 ringgit. So, what do I like about the Logitech? Well, it's very compact, as you can see right there. Fits nicely into your hand. This is an Xperia Z2, gives you an idea of the size, like such. And it has a nice rubberized, texturized feeling on around it, which is the black part of it. And it feels very, very classy. It feels very versatile and it feels very robust. Like, I don't feel too afraid if I just drop it a little bit. It feels like you could stand a few knocks here and there. In terms of the setup, it's extremely basic. As you can see right here, we've got this uh, grill, which is pretty nice. And at the back, we have just the basic connecting port. We have a USB, micro USB obviously, we've got a headphone jack, and we've also got the power right there for easy use. Now, there's lots to love about this. For example, I can connect two devices simultaneously to this for one, which is pretty cool, supposing you and your girlfriend, you and your boyfriend, you and your parents, or whoever you're with, want to both listen, you can then take turns in using this as the main speaker. It can also be paired up from pretty far away. In terms of what's inside here, it's all very mid-range stuff, so don't expect something amazing. But if you're going to be using this for just private listening by yourself, or perhaps if you're 
going to be making some video calls, etc. This can also double up so you can actually speak into it, etc. and have the calls coming through this speaker instead of on your phone. Um, also, a lot of devices can be stored in here as well. So if you tend to be out and about with friends, etc., up to eight in total. So obviously, it's very compact and it fits that purpose. So let me put this down. The sound quality on that for a small size is excellent and it really does well do a very good job bearing in mind it is less than 400 ringgit however let's compare it now to the samsung what we have here is the samsung level box this is what the music was coming from just now when i was playing it off my phone and immediately compared to what we have from logitech this feels very very premium it feels very nice it's not particularly light, it's, uh, it feels solid in your hands. I mean, it feels like a brick, but a very, very refined and high-end brick. I mean, look at this polished metal on top. It, oh, it feels classy. This would belong in a very, very nice apartment, etc. It's got this full metal grill around it, as you can see right there. And wow, it does feel very, very cool. It's got a large 56mm stereo speaker as well inside here and a passive radiator. So it gives a very optimized sound system within this. It's crisp and it's pretty balanced at the same time, if you ask me. And it does a lot. For example, you can see all these buttons up here. Well, that's very useful because you can answer your phone calls, etc. Uh, you can skip your tracks by pressing the buttons actually on the device. So those are the four up there. Behind, as you can see right here, we've got the power button, we've got the dedicated Bluetooth button to connect up your devices. We also have the headphone jack right there. And again, of course, we need to charge it. So we have the micro USB. Now they say that a charge in this will take you to about 15 hours or so. So obviously that's a massive, massive plus point. And you may have noticed this right here, you may recognize the logo, NFC, something which this does not seem to have. Just take my phone. If your phone has NFC, obviously, otherwise this is not gonna work, whatever device you're using, just tap it and it'll be connected and you are good to go in terms of playing your music. So obviously, this is gonna be more expensive than that. And you can tell just by looking at it. This, like I mentioned, is about 659 ringgit and it does feel like it's premium, it does, feel like you're paying for it because it is worth it in that sense. Nice rubberized bottom as well to keep things steady when it's on your table or on your desk, etc. And I have to say Samsung have done a very, very good job with this level box. Very premium quality, but in terms of the sound, now that's the most important question. I've tried stuff like the jam box, etc. It does compare very well to those devices. Like I said, it's very well optimized inside for crisp and balanced, but it can sound a little bit tinny at times compared to the Jambox. But take nothing away, it does a pretty nifty job. Now let's go on to the next product from Samsung which is that. What we have right here are the Samsung level over very nifty, very comfortable looking pair of headphones. You see what I just did? I turned it on by just touching the side. So let me just pause that one second. Let me explain to you why in a second, how I managed to do that. These are worth 1,399 ringgit, so they are rather pricey, but they do offer quite a few interesting things. Firstly, just looking at it, for that price, you kind of expect a little bit more than this plasticky feel that we have right here. I expected something a little bit more premium. However, the padding, feels very nice in your ears. It doesn't get too hot, it's very comfortable, and on the underside here as well. So you could slip these on quite easily. Can't really hear myself talk or anything, so I'm gonna take these off because otherwise it's very weird, but it does feel very nice, and I'm a big, big fan of those, especially if you're gonna be, say, on a plane journey, etc. Be quite comfortable to wear this, or at least I would like to think so. Now, let's just take a look at everything else. What makes this unique? Well, you can't really see much here. But trust me when I say that the outer shell that we can see there can actually control your phone and it's pretty cool, I have to say. So if you slip these on, I'm gonna keep the left side open, otherwise it's a bit weird. If I go up like that, it will turn the volume up. If I go across, it will actually, well, skip the track. So just now, just by doing that, I'm skipping, I'm going backwards, etc. If I go up, the volume goes up. If I go down, volume goes down. That for me 
is pretty cool. That for me is a, it's a nice little touch. It's very Matrix-esque as you're walking around like this and like that. So obviously I'm a big sucker for those little ideas like such. Now, the reason I got my phone out as well is you can connect up an app to this, which is the Level Over app. I downloaded it just to show you. I've already connected the device, obviously. That's how I was listening. And it's pretty cool. So there you have it. It looks a bit like that. You just go to Sound Alive. And then I'll say notification there. Now we have this grid right here. So the top is treble, the far right is vocal, bass at the bottom, and instrument on the left hand side. But there's almost pre done squares. Now each square, depending where you click, will obviously indicate more of that thing that you're looking for. So treble right in the middle will just give you pure treble. If you click it in the other square here, which doesn't have a name on it, it'll give you a good mix between vocal and treble. And obviously the other way around is jazz, normal, pop, rock, classic as pre-done configurations. But if you prefer some more bass, then you click wherever the bass is. If you want more vocal with the bass, or if you want more instrument with the bass, that's how you do it. Another thing I would like to add is the case it comes in, which is pretty nice, very rugged feeling. This has a more premium feel about it, as opposed to the material used. Very rugged and very nice to use. Obviously stick your expensive headphones in there and you are good to go. Now, I took a look at three different devices, all very different price points. We've got the cheap, portable one from Logitech. We've got the premium feel boombox soundish here from Samsung as well. Slightly under 700 ringgit. And we've got these which are slightly under 1,400 ringgit. All pretty nifty, especially these two in their price points. I think they offer a lot. I expected more sound of this, but as Samsung tend to do, there's a lot of novel features there as well, like especially, you know, to click through your songs and your volume along the side. Worth checking out. Um, but if you're looking for headphones in this price range, if you're really a stickler for sound, perhaps you should look elsewhere. For these two devices, very good in their price point. Those two are definitely worth checking out. Should be looking to invest in some sound.